What's everybody? Global Karen here. I'm going to be doing a reaction to Wicked Bench, the worst South Park characters and why they suck. I was, I, I've been waiting to uh, react to his videos on these, on his, uh, like, like worst character stuff because I, that, 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 I said I still ain't one or two videos of him, but I always wanted to react to it and react it to y'all. I think I did a tier list of South Park before. I think I did one. Let me see. I do. Yeah, but then I had to try to tell y'all what my worst, what, what what my worst and hated characters are, because like there are some really bad character, really terrible characters in South Park. But he gonna pick the ones that are not that good. Got no idea the choice of the worst episodes of South Park. Some I should have changed. So I never did a tier list for the worst characters in South Park. So one day I had to do one. But right now, this is going to react to this one. And let's get into it. It should come as a surprise to no one when we say that South Park has one of the most expansive and entertaining casts out of any cartoon in history. Whether that be the iconic main characters, Stan, Kyle, Kenny, and Cartman, or any of one of the thousands of one-off gag characters. Oh, he be in this list. I do not like uh, Butter's dad. It's just a, a terrible father. Like a taco who poops ice cream or Mel Gibson. There are very few characters in South Park's history who we would say we genuinely dislike. With that said, the multiple decades worth of content that this show has produced- oh, I hate that you call for source. They are one of the most annoying characters in this show ever. I, I hope they in this list. The, the only reason why they may be in this, ep may be in this list is because they, they are so annoying and not even funny. Produced, allowed for the conception of a few characters. Yeah, I want me to react to every single episode of South Park, but I can't really show it. It's just uh, tell me in the comment section. ...who do genuinely get under the skin of fans, whether it be a recurring cast member like they, or a one-off character. We I know Pilp gonna be in it because Pilp was not good. The only reason why they create Butters is because... I think the only reason why they create Butters is because Pilp was not a... They shot me... Uh, people a likable character because he gets bullied by everybody, but he was not a good of a character, so they replaced him with Butters, and Butters was a better character than Pip was. Ever heard from again? Which residents of this little mountain town are the most annoying? I'm Kyle with Wicked Binge, and these are the worst South Park characters. I love how his name is Kyle, even though he writes the South Park. And why they suck. Okay, Wicked Binge. All your worst characters in this list. Let's start the video off by talking about the first character that comes to most people's minds when the discussion of lackluster South Park characters is brought up. That, of course, being yes, I, I knew I told y'all Pip was gonna be in this list because Pip was not that good. Pip, if you haven't watched the first four seasons of South Park, he died from Streisand when Streisand was a robot. You probably have no idea who this character is, and for good reason. Pip was a British exchange student who attended South Park Elementary with the main characters. Long before the show had developed other side characters. Yeah, because they, cause what they did, because Pip was the first kind of like the side character of the group, then they started developing like Jimmy, Jimmy, Timmy, you know, because they needed to, because Pip was not doing it to, for everybody like Jimmy, Craig, Token, and Tweak. Pip was the classmate who Stan, Kyle, Cartman, and Kenny were seen interacting with the most outside of their own group. Because Butters, at this time, especially around like season, maybe season one or two, uh, Butters was just a regular character. He, he was just a background character like everybody else until they developed Butters. Designed to be annoying, frequently being mocked and picked on by his fellow classmates who often mislabel him as French. Hello. Yeah. I'm a British person. Unfortunately, Pip may have fulfilled this role a little too well, as he's often hated not only by his classmates, but South Park's audience as well. Yeah. While making frequent appearances in Season 1, Pip's prominence diminished quite quickly after that, with only the occasional line until receiving his very own episode. And that episode was really bad. I, I, I think I put this in my episode, put this in my uh, worst episode list. I did feel bad for Pilk, but it's like he, I get why a lot of people hate him and then I started disliking him too. 
I guess I, I understand why. In season four, sadly for him, Pip's starring role is often considered to be one of the worst episodes in the show's history, mm -hmm. which diminished his prominence even more. A big part of the reason Pip faded into the background was due to the conception and development of Butter Stotch. Yeah, I told y'all. A much more popular character who essentially filled the same role that Pip did in yeah, he, yeah, he just filled the same role, but Butters was more likable. Earlier seasons. Pip did briefly reappear in episode 201, where he was subsequently killed by yeah. Mega Streisand. Rest in peace, Pip. You may be gone, but you're not. Um, who are we talking about again? Next up, Towelie. Yeah, we had to talk about Towelie. Let's talk, let's talk about him. Towelie. Started, I think I forgot which episode Tyler we started. It's when they had that game console, game console, and then they then the government tried to get Tawi or something. It's been a long time. See, Tawi's character is mostly he's a drug addict. That's mostly Tawi's guy. He's just mostly a drug addict. Tawi had some bad episodes. The episode with um. We went to that uh, show. I think it was Oprah Winfrey in her in her vagina and her asshole was just talking to each other. It was it makes no sense. It, it, it was a Tawi episode. I think it's called Doubt Hundred or a Thousand Fibers. It had been a long time since I watched South Park. I think it was a year or two since I watched South Park. So that was the worst episode. I think the second second worst episode. Fatawi was the camp was the uh, cripple camp episode when they tried to rehab Tawi but they couldn't rehab him. Then they brought Tawi back a lot, especially when Randy started uh, doing that weed farm, and that's when I started disliking Randy a little bit more because like because of that bullshit. He takes us down to Funky Town. Before you raise your torches and pitchforks, allow us to explain. We actually love Towley, voiced by South Park writer. I, I do like Towley, but you had to understand that what most of Towley's character was. Vernon Chapman. Towley is a character whose main passions in life are getting high and giving towel related advice yes. to the residents of South Park. Don't forget your towels. Did I forget to mention he's also a sentient towel created by the corporation Tynacor to yeah. spy on the lives of humans. For as weird as he is, Towelie has become a favorite among South Park fans, and he has appeared much more in recent seasons due to the show's yeah, growing Yeah, because they brought him back in recent seasons. I think the only reason why they put him in there because he has some bad episodes. Yeah, I did that one really bad episode, or maybe two. I don't remember, because I don't hate Towelie either. Pill is way worse than Tawi. Emphasis on the marijuana There's gonna be a, I think there's going to be a lot more characters in here that's way worse than Tawi. I'm addicted to marijuana. So if he's so beloved, why does he make an appearance in this video? The simple answer to that question is that Tawi was designed to be a terrible character from the... Yeah, for the start. ...the get-go. By the time the fifth season of South Park had rolled around, its creators were more than aware that the show had entered the zeitgeist and was being heavily merchandised. Mm -hmm. As a response, they intentionally created a character who was lazily designed and only existed to spout catchphrases Yeah, in you can tell he was lazily designed. Because, like, he only do, like, towel, towel things and he's just a drug addict. That's all Tawi was. And sell merchandise. They even went as far as to create a fake commercial for Tawley oh, yeah. within the episode to hammer this point home. The great irony of this is that Tawley did become one of the most popular and merchandisable characters in South Park's history, especially among stoners and towel fanatics. Mostly the former. Much like Pip, Towley seems to have served his purpose a little too well. Carmen yeah. literally remarks at the end of an episode that Towley is, quote, the worst character ever. Granted, not every Towley appearance is a home run, especially with him being the focus of A Million yeah. Little Fibers, one of the most hated South Park episodes in existence. Yeah, I, t I told y'all, this was his worst episode Tally had, I think it was one or two, like the camp thing, but this one with mine it is one of his worst episodes ever. Almost like Pilt, when they did an episode only for Pilt, that was Pilt's worst episode ever, too. Maybe that's another reason for him to be featured in this video. While we're on the topic of a million little fibers, let's talk about Gary and me. 
Thank you. I'm glad that he put the put these two characters in here. I was talking about these characters when I was talking about Taiwi. Yeah, they were terrible characters too. For those of you who were fortunate enough to miss this episode, let's give a brief synopsis about who these two are. Gary and Minji are Oprah Winfrey's sentient anus and vagina yeah. who often converse with each other unbeknownst to Oprah. Due to being neglected by Oprah, Gary and Minji plot together to get Oprah canceled so that she can give them more attention. You got a plan, Minji? After this fails, Minji. So, uh, these I think these characters want her to have get, have, get uh want I think these characters want her to have sex or something so they can feel good. I I don't know. Becomes hostile and takes Oprah's audience members hostage after gunning down a police officer in the process. Before Minji and Gary can escape to France, though, they kill themselves. Though, they both die in a shootout with the cops. South Park has always been a very bizarre and surreal show, yeah. but many believe the inclusion of Gary and Minji's story to be a little too much. The strangeness of this plot, especially when paired up with a story about a towel selling mm. an autobiography, managed to make for one of the most unique episodes of South Park, but not in a good way. Gary and Minji's portion of this episode maybe could have worked if there was something else grounded in the episode to level out the weirdness, yeah. but it was just too chaotic to reach its full potential. As such, Gary and Minji remain forgotten, only being brought up occasionally to be criticized by people on the internet. Another early season character who is no longer with us is Miss Veronica um, his crab t trees, yeah, his crab trees was not a good character. To her character was like she just yells a lot. I, she had like one focus episode, and that one was not a good episode. It, it was when uh they got trapped in the bus because there was like they got trapped because the bus was like hanging into hanging over the cliff. Then she tried to go and get help, but she forgot then she forgot about them because this because she became like some type of model actor i just don't remember I, she died i think she died i forgot how she died it's been such a long time crabtree in the first few seasons of south park miss crabtree appeared frequently as south park elementary's bus driver yeah. often picking up the boys from their iconic bus stop portrayed as mentally unstable and suffering from severe anger issues miss crabtree's defining characteristic was her loud screaming the, the first episode i watched the first episode i laughed when i was going back going back watching south park episodes the, when south park was when Stan insulted her was funny. Often telling kids to sit down and shut up. <laughs> the only time Miss Crabtree was the main character. I forgot what he called. He called her a bitch, but he said more stuff about it. So it was in the city on the edge of forever, yeah. where she abandoned her stint as a bus driver in favor of becoming a stand-up comedian. Yeah. However, since the events of that episode turns out to be Stan's dream. That small bit of character development that Miss Crabtree received was essentially retracted. She eventually fell by the wayside, like many other early season South Park characters. Yeah. And it's not hard for us to see why. While her unrestrained anger was amusing at first, it's not really enough on its own to develop a compelling character, and Matt Stone and Trey Parker clearly realized that. Miss Crabtree was eventually killed off in the season 8 episode, Cartman's Incredible Gift. Okay, now I remember it came from that episode. I, I just didn't remember that episode. Upon I knew that she died. Bring her body. Detective Mitch Murphy comments that she was, quote, an ancillary character, one the fans wouldn't miss much. Sadly yeah. for her, we think that's a very accurate description. Yeah, that's Another accurate. character who's been on the show ever since season one is Principal Victoria. I don't really hate Principal Victoria like that as much. I think it's way worse characters than Principal Victoria, but I understand. I understood on, on why they put in here, because I, I get it. We seem to be giving South Park Elementary a hard time today, but not everyone can have the same lasting impact as Chef, Mr. Garrison, or Mr. Mackey. And Principal Victoria is probably the most pr prominent forgettable character in the first 19 seasons of the show. Yeah. We understand that Principal Victoria is much more- You guys do all the characters in there, like, like he said, Mr. Maggie Garrison and Shelf, they were like good char they were like good characters and funny. <clears throat> but Principal Victoria, she'd been around 
been around the show for a very long time. <clears throat> very long time, almost like those three characters. But she had no impact. No one cares about Prince of Victoria like that. More grounded than <clears throat> those aforementioned characters. But there's a difference between being grounded and being boring. Yeah, Ask any she's South Park boring. fan what their favorite principal Victoria moment from the series is. And we're willing to bet they'll struggle to come up with an answer. Because she was so boring. So boring. That, like I said about the other three, they were funny. They had some good episodes. You in some bad episodes, but Prince of Victoria was such a boring character. That's what most of her character is. Now I get why she's in here because she's just a boring character. But the but the others, I get the reason why they ain't here. If they even find one at all, Principal Victoria was fired off screen before the events of season 19 and replaced with PC Principal. Wait, the what? The character was so insignificant that her partial exit from the show wasn't even deemed important enough to give her screen time. Yeah, that, that's why they didn't care. That's, how, that's why they had to replace her with... That's why they had to replace her with him because like she was so boring. And at least uh, Prissy Principal had like a kind of an impact. Even though people hate him, at least that you at least watch what he's doing. And you can see... And you can actually... Uh, you could be shocked that he that they kill a monster, but with her, you just do not care. That's how boring she was. We also realize that PC Principal himself has received a mixed response from fans, yeah. with some finding him a funny addition to the cast, and others finding him one note and annoying. Yeah. Say what you want about the character, but at least he's memorable and makes yeah, at least he's memorable. At least, at least, uh, like I said, at least you can see when he if they do do kill him off, you at least like, oh shit, they kill PC Principal. At least you'd be shocked that he, that he died or he's missing. With Prince of Victoria, you just do not care at all. It's an impact, which is much more than we can say for Principal Victoria. Then you can say he got some good episodes, but she just do not have none, even though she's been there for so long. The final staff member of South Park Elementary we'll be talking about today is Miss Diane Chokesa. Chokesa did came, came starting the episode of the fourth grade. She got killed off. When I think she got killed off when uh Mr. Mackey had sex with her, but she didn't die because she had, he had sex with her. I think she uh got killed off some other way. I just don't know, don't not remember how she died. She's the lady with the big with the long, a long old tits. That's what her character was. On deck. She was introduced in season four as the new teacher for the boys once they all transitioned from third grade to fourth grade. This character is essentially limited to two jokes, those being her name and her gross appearance. Yeah, that's her that's the only thing about her character is her her appearance and her name, that's all it was. Other than that, no one cared. So as a lazy eye, if you want to count that as a third joke, I guess. And aside from her initial appearance in the episode Proper Condom Use, Miss Chokes on Dick didn't really have much prominence in the series and mostly served her one and only purpose as the boys' teacher. Yeah, when they when they killed her off, they just put Mr. Garrison back to, uh... The only reason why they put her there is because they re removed uh, Garrison from the, uh... To be their teacher, he went to the first grade. Then he moved. Then they moved him back to the fourth grade because they killed her off. After that, making fun of a character's name and appearance can only go so far in South Park showrunners. Yeah, she started an episode when she tried to learn how to understand the kids, understand the kids. Then she needed help from Mr. Garrison, but he, but he left and went to the wild. That's why he saw him with the beard because like. He didn't accept that he was gay. Then he accepted it. Then the whole first grade, everything. everything Seemingly else. became well aware of this, considering she only lasted two seasons amongst the cast. She was killed off in the season six episode, Professor Chaos, which was expanded upon in its follow. Okay, she got killed on the Professor episode. Okay, now I remember. She got killed off because the stuff that Carmen was playing with, she got killed off because of the stuff. That still killed her. From the season six episode, Professor Chaos, which was expanded upon in its follow-up, The Simpsons Already Did It, 
Go ahead, whip them out, and I'll suck them. As morbid as it sounds, the situation surrounding her death was much funnier and more memorable than anything she did while alive. Much like Ms. Crabtree and Pip, we don't know of too many South Park fans who were upset to see this character be written up. No, I didn't like who did I care. The show permanently. Let's move away from the school staff and towards the city council to talk about Mayor Mc... Yeah, my, yeah, she was not a good character. Our character is that she wants to be known to the world that she's the best uh mayor mayor ever but she is a terrible mayor that's all it is she should do a lot every day to make herself popular but she's not daniels this is another character who has been with the show from season one and has retained quite a bit of prominence that makes total sense to us as she is the mayor of the town the show is named after. Yeah. Much like Principal Victoria though, Mayor McDaniels fails to leave much of an impact despite being in many episodes. Yeah. What a rip! We will admit- Do a lot of people care about Miss McDonald's? I think no one don't really care about her like, don't really care to almost like, um, like the like the principal, like Principal Victoria. I think no, no one cares either. But I think a lot of people a little bit like her a lot more than Victoria. I don't know. Tell me in the comics it, who who you like more, Prince Victoria and Miss McDonald. That Trey Parker seems to struggle. McDonald, Miss Dan Mc McDaniel's. I said McDonald's. It's McDaniel's. That's stupid. A bit more with writing funny female characters, and Mayor McDaniel's is another example of that shortcoming. Yeah. That said, she does have some interesting aspects to her character. She's corrupt, has a yeah. superiority complex, and despises the town she runs. Yeah, she said that a lot. You actually watch the episodes. She got a superiority complex, but she wants to be the best man ever, then she hates that part. All of which could be interesting aspects. That said, these parts of her personality are not expanded on enough for yeah. it to really matter. Thus, Mayor McDaniels feels like a much more mechanical character who exists mostly to move the plot forward, yeah. rather than being a funny character in herself. Finally, let's end this video by talking about possibly the most hated one-off characters in the series. Thank you. Put these motherfuckers in here. I hate these characters. One of the most one noted, one gag character in here. So unlike, so unfunny, unlikable characters. The Jack Officers, appearing in the episode title of the same name, the Jack Officers are technically a species with the prominent members being Jagoff and Jujun. -Ju. Since the species all look and act very similar, there are a lot worse characters. In here that I will put in put in my list, but I get the reasons why they put these characters in here. But to me, it, it should be like more characters in here that should have been worse. Clearly, we're gonna give them a collective ranking. The Jack Officers are a parody of the Star Wars character Jar Jar Binks. Yeah. Much like other episodes, this episode was created out of the distaste that the South Park characters had for the Star Wars prequels, specifically the Phantom Menace and the Jar Jar Binks character. I, I just no, I just started noticing and noticed that. I just thought I noticed that too, because I think around this time, when the prequels came out, when the prequels came out, what, around the 2000s? What, the 2000s? So it kind of makes sense that they will make fun of the prequels. In particular, while making fun of Jar Jar Binks is pretty commonplace nowadays. Yeah. This episode was aired only one month. A lot of people know that Jar Jar wasn't the worst character in Star Wars. It's way worse character than Jar Jar. In Star Wars now. After the release of the film, quite possibly marking the first time the characters were parodied on national TV. Now that kind of makes sense why they are not that good, because they decided to they make a fun of Jar Jar, but this character was way way annoying than Jar Jar. Let's be honest, I ain't I know I seen a Star Wars, I never seen the movies, but I heard all about the movies and stuff. So I know what's about to happen in all the movies, even though I never watched them. But now, now I get it now. Now I get why this character is just to make fun of Jar Jar. 
We do give them credit for being timely, but many fans feel that the Jagophosaurus may have served their purpose yeah. a little too well. While not as widely despised as, say, a million little fibers or pip, Jagophosaurus is cited by many South Park fans as being one of the weakest episodes in the series. No, I, I disliked them. I, I just disliked them. Mostly due to the sheer annoyance they experienced yes. as a result of the titular characters. Parodying a character like Jar Jar Binks may sound easy on paper, but in execution it runs the risk of being too accurate. Who would have yeah. thought that lampooning a bad comic relief character would lead to, well, bad comic relief? But let us know in the comments section if you agree with our ranking, and tell us which South Park character you think sucks the most. Make sure to- I, I agree, I agree with his rankings. But I wish like a lot more characters. I wish it was a lot more characters in here that will, because they are way worse characters than the Jacobosaurus that are that been in the show for a fair long time, or are just one noted too. But I agree. I, I like this list. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I just got to channel, but subscribe to Wicked Bench first. Watch their video. Watch their videos. Then what? Come watch mine. Well, y'all join me like subscribe to the channel again. I'll see you guys later and bye.